Pyatt Salwin from Alwyn's Photo School. We're going to be talking now about, well, this is the second part of our restoration class. We're going to be restoring an old photograph. Now, we're looking at an old 1950s image that has gone a sepia colour. Now, don't be confused. There's a lot of people think that sepia is a sign that the image has got old. In fact, sepia is an effect we use at the time. It's a type of processing. This has just gone this colour because it has faded. It's just what happens sometimes to old photographs. Now, so how do we fix it? We could spend hours messing around with trying to fix different parts of it and playing with the curves and the shapes and things. Let's make it the quick way, because sometimes when we're doing restoration, sometimes quicker can be as good as, if not better. We're going to use a, a control called Auto Levels. Now, what's happened with the photograph is it's faded, which means its levels have gone down. In this case, it's turned the black and white shot into this sort of sepia, browny, um, muddy colour. On Photoshop Elements, the top screen has a setting called Enhance, and you'll see all these enhanced controls, one of them is auto levels, or sh um, shortcut is shift control L. I'll try it by the shortcut so you can watch the screen. Three, two, one, and we're fixed. It can be as quick as that, and in that case, it works fine. If I go to the next image, let's fill the screen. Um, we've got again a very similar image, but I'll take it at the same wedding, and again, as before, shift control three two one l and there's our colors well our black and white fixed we'll go to the next one 